Hello, I'm Firepug. If you guys are new, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about the changes to Apex Legends ranked in Season 8, plus the results of Season 7. So, here we see the just a percentage of players that reached each rank. Now, you see there's a number on the left, then there's a number on the right in parentheses. The number on the right in parentheses is from Season 6, and the number on the left is from Season 7. Also, it says that these are only for players that played the more than five hours of ranked. So it's just not people who just played a couple games and then moved on. So this shows that there is more people playing ranked, more people trying to get plat and diamond, and more people trying to get masters as well. In this section, this first paragraph, they state how they want to try to get more diamond players playing with more diamond players in their lobbies and not trying to get them into a bunch of master and pred matches or maybe even with golds and plats. They want to try to keep it all diamonds now that there's more diamond players out there. This improved match quality for rank matches things means that they're going to try to get players of all the same rank into one match. However, it will longer queue times, but they're trying to find a happy medium, but prioritizing having you guys be all the same ranked in one game. Now, here's when we get into the big stuff. So, earn placement RP earlier in match. So, normally you'd get RP when you place top 10. Now, they've bumped that, well, down to 13. So, you start earning RP faster. Also, the kill such assist max for earning RP was originally 5. Once you had 5 kills or assists, you wouldn't get any more bonus from getting kills or assists. But now they bumped that up to 6. So this, these two things will definitely allow more people to earn more RP and make it easier too. Next, they say the assist threshold increased to 10 seconds. Before, it was 7.5 this means if you do damage to someone within 10 seconds of them being downed by a teammate, you will get an assist. Also, Reaching Predator has been increased to the top 750 players. This means more people will be able to get Predator. And they also say that players below Diamond will match make more often with people of their own rank. Now here's a look at the Season 7 rewards. This is for this season's ranked results. Personally, I love the charms and it's Awesome to see they brought the Diamond Dive Trail back. I think that's really cool. And I think it's something that you know should be in the game to reward the players that do grind but can't make it quite to Masters. Now, what maps will be, we be playing ranked on? Here it says that we will start off on Kings Canyon and then move to Olympus after March 23rd. That will be the end of the first split. And World's Edge will not be on ranked this season. This is all they shared at the website. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you do have any questions or anything like that, feel free to post them in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.